is one of my longtime faves. And in year three, he is finally a good offensive player, I think. He's a good NBA player on both ends now, which is awesome. Because I always thought he could be, and you know, one of my favorite prospects and players. But let's break down his offensive game, which he was always known for his defense. His defense is great. Funnily enough, EPM ranks, ranks his offense as like minus one point two, which, funny enough, is above fiftieth percentile. I definitely think it's better than that. Um, I don't view it, but the defense is great, obviously. And Tillman is just like the perfect complementary offensive big as one of the better passing bigs in the league. Obviously, he can do the basic pass to cuts and stuff like that, but his processing and quick decision-making on the move were always what made him stand out. He's such a great short roll passer, which is a really good trait to have when you play with Ja and Desmond Bain because you get a lot of those opportunities, especially in a free-flowing offense like the Grizzlies one. He has great chemistry with Desmond Bain, hitting these quick little cuts, and just having guys like Bain and Tyus and players who will move off ball and create opportunities this way is so great. He's awesome hitting these lobs off of the short roll. Again, it's quick reads, and I love how Tillman keeps the ball high. He's instantly catching, making a decision. He's not lagging at all. He's not giving the help any chance to get back. And that is what you have to do in the NBA if this is the role you're going to play. And I think Tillman has always done this. He's great flashing to to make high-low passes. His high-low game with Jaron is are awesome. As they're both bigs that can pass and dribble, which is just so much fun to watch and are creative. As again, Tyus and Dylan Brooks aren't able to get it to Jaron, but... Tillman knows that Jaron on the mismatch is where the ball needs to go and he's like I can do that myself I have the passing instincts to make this happen and he just flashes right to the middle hits a quick little lob pass to Jaron that's easy way way too easy and it's really great stuff I love how he kind of lightly manipulates the defense here watch him keep the ball high do a slight little pump before lobbing it up to Jaron Jackson just so this weak side defender can't fully commit. There still might be a defender in the corner, or a shooter in the corner, should I say. Tillman fakes that with his eyes and with the ball, and he gets his teammate a wide-open layup. This is what Tillman does all the time. But the issue with a lot of short role players, um, this is like the post-prime Draymond Green issue, is the scoring. Is like What happens when you just take away the pass totally? What happens when you back off of him and say, shoot a floater? But for Xavier Tillman, this is, while it's somewhat of an issue, I think, because he's not an elite scorer in the mid-range by any means, and there are a lot of examples where teams will just kind of back off of him, and the help will totally move away, and in the playoffs, this obviously becomes even more of an issue when all of the players are good, and again, Nick Batum not even worrying about Tillman in favor of guarding Santi Aldama in the corner. But I don't think it's, like, that crazy of an issue for Tillman just because of how great his touch around the rim is and always has been. Um, back to EPM here. He is a great finisher. 69.8%, 84th percentile within 5 feet. He's a great mid-range shooter. The touch is fantastic. We see that, again, this year, again, after a good first year, shooting really, really incredible. 75% from 0 to 3 is the elite, the elite as is 51 from three to, from that three to 10 range, which again, that short floater range is key for a player like Tillman who is going to be operating in this kind of short roll era. Siri, can you please turn off? <laughs> but yeah, Tillman in this short roll area, again, has the touch and beautiful little pump fake there to get Lori off of his feet and get a bucket there to use that touch and the finishing's always been really great watch him dribble into space here and take that little floater this is a key shot so defenses can't do this this is this is this is your counter to the incredible passing and screening which we'll get into where yep anthony davis is gonna give me space take one dribble in hit a little floater easy that's what tillman can do and it's what he needs to continue to do to thrive in this role and as we see like so many short roll chances in this offense especially late in games with a dynamic ball handler like Ja, teams will show, and Xavier Tillman is the kind of player you want when your team has a numbers advantage. He is going to make all the right decisions, and he can score well enough to, to execute his own scoring, too. Just sees a lane here. Neesmith is too small. 
and Xavier Tillman gets that one easily. He's kind of like a guard finisher in a lot of the ways. He can't really get off the floor. His vertical explosion was always a big concern. But like he, he, he gets low, but he's flexible to generate leverage. This is an off-foot, off-hands finish like Shea or Jaw even. I don't know. It's ridiculous the craft, the touch, the footwork. Using his off arm and finishing with like the scoop float kind of shot. Not many bigs in the league finish like this. And Tillman is just so unique. I think we already showed that, but really impressive touch off of move. And another thing that makes Tillman special is how incredible his handle is. He doesn't make that floater, but his handle is so good. And we saw some of this earlier too in the passing section where... He's just really comfortable with the ball in his hands, moving around, getting to his spots, helping his teammates get open, all of that good stuff. And bigs who aren't comfortable dribbling the ball take a lot away from their offenses, even if they're good passers or shooters, because it's so easy to pressure them and take them out of place. Ball handling and high-level decision-making are really important for bigs in the modern NBA, and Tillman is excellent here, Excuse me, as he has the handle to attack a closeout. And he shouldn't ever be drawing those. This was a bad play because Tillman is a total non-shooter. Again, part of the big issue dragging down his offensive value, along with like him being a weirdly horrible free throw shooter. Like I wonder what, if that's probably influencing it. But again, Tillman can handle. He can do like reactive moves when defenders cut him off or hit him one way. And Tillman is is so smart when it comes to getting open and finding the openings in defenses he's like an annoying tight end who just like does stick routes and and gets open at the five yard line every single time where Tillman knows that Bain is driving into him he flows to the opposite block finds himself right in the gap between the help and Conchar still drawing a little bit there and Beasley should slide in obviously there but Tillman just finds ways to get open he's so annoying to defend he's always moving his feel as a cutter and a spacer is fantastic again we see him recognize that his man steps up to help he backs into the space where he's not great pass from kennedy chandler who i hope finds his spot somewhere because he's fun and gets an easy layup it's really great and i think possibly the last thing on tillman um is he just cares so much about screening and like it, it, it sounds dumb but like having a guy who gives a shit as a screener is such a big difference who is not only screening hard because he's strong, he has a wide base, it's hard to get around him, even for high-level screen navigators like Isaac Okoro, who I just did a video on recently, makes life for the ball handlers so, so much easier when he's a hard screener, he's a hard roller, he's always looking for opportunities to score. I mean, stuff like this makes the difference between buckets and no buckets, especially in high-leverage minutes where... He is sprinting up here. Gobert is behind the play. And by the time Ja gets into great position because Gobert was so, was so out and behind, Tillman is rolling hard, looking for the ball, gets it, and finishes. It's really great stuff. And it gets the Grizzlies a lot of easy offense. He's a great like slipper as well. He's really great at timing these cuts to the basket where... I don't know if this was the call, but the Heat are switching in this game a lot and showing, and he catches um, Highsmith playing too high, and he knows that the paint's open, so he's going to slip right in there for a wide open dunk. It's the intelligence and the, the basketball feel that are really, really high level with Tillman. And that's not even talking about the defense, which is, again, just so much fun. Like, incredible reactions and instincts. And in lineups with other bigs, which happens pretty often in Memphis because they have lots of them, they almost use him as like a w giant wing defender because of his mobility. Like, look at look at him close and recover to Al Horford. Horford obviously hits a, a good shot, and Tillman is long, but the lack of true center size gives him some issues where players can just shoot over him. But he tags, recovers, and changes directions here. Look at the foot plant, immediate quick slide to cut off. And this is really impressive stuff for a 6'8". 6'9", big with his incredible strength to be able to do. Like, look, I mean, he's freaking playing high pick and roll show against Steph Curry. And obviously it won't work like this all the time, but he shows Curry the top foot, which is usually a death sentence going for the steal. And he was very close to getting it. 
But again, he immediately opens up his hips really quickly. Slides with him and forces a decently difficult shot. Um, so Tillman is really awesome. And I think we'll continue to see that and people will keep understanding that as the Grizzlies play more games and hopefully he improves in, in other ways. But Tillman is the perfect connected big, as I said at the top. The, the scoring is never going to be what you need it to be for a real star, nor is the shooting. But an amazing play finisher can score within 10 feet. The passing, the decision-making, the handling, the screening are all really high level and the, that shit matters in the playoffs. Like it, it really does, especially as we see every year. Smart players, strong players. And I don't know, I, I mean, the free throws need to be better. That was like a weird outlier, terrible year. Like he's never been a good free, th free throw shooter, but that was like really bad. He's usually close to 70. But point being, Tillman is awesome and I hope you enjoy Tillman as much as I do.